forgive and forget your sin. Come back, turn back. Come to Jesus is calling you by name. Once upon a time you went to church. But now you said, oh, I don't believe in God anymore. But there is a God who created the heaven and the earth. Christ have not created you. You have been created by God. You are made in the image and the likeness of God. My brother, my sister. That's where Jesus Christ loves you. And you without think, Jesus... Do you think the you shared through that ah. does my religion and your religion any good at all? Religion don't take you to heaven. Or do you think that you are just bringing our religion into disrepute? Listen to me. Religion does not take you to heaven. Does religion tell you to take to heaven? Because there is a law. You can do this, you cannot do that. That's why we are not speaking of religion. Religion don't take you to heaven. Only Jesus can take you to heaven because he is the way, think, the life. Do yeah. you think the shouting through that yeah. To these people. Yeah, that's what Jesus Christ, how did he preach to for 4,000 people in the Bible? Not through a microphone. Because those days, microphones were not there. That's right. But today, microphone is there. We use the technology. He, he spoke to people who wanted to listen. Yeah. You are using that yeah. to shout at people no. who don't want to listen. They want to li they listen no, they or they don't. not listen. Yeah, if you don't want to listen, that's up to you. The choice You're is about you. No, 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 no. No, 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 We have to you speak to you everyone. You couldn't then demands attention, could you? No, 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 no. When te listen to me. When just technology is... I'm telling you, do you have a TV? No, just switch Do you off. have a TV in your house? Do you no, do you have a TV in your house? No, do you switch it off? Do you have a TV in your house? That's got nothing to no, do. No, 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 no. Why are you using the TV? In the nothing. time of Jesus, there was no TV. There was no technology. So why are you, you using? Why are you... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm not mad. That's what you yeah, think. Yeah. No problem. God cannot be mocked. Whether I'm mad or not, only God knows. No problem. Religion don't take you to heaven. Religion does not take you to heaven. And Jesus takes you to heaven. You, huh? you read the Bible. You read the Bible. If you're a, no, you don't read. That's why you're telling religion. Where the Bible speaks of religion? Does it speak of religion? Show me. You. What religion are you? You follow. I'm are you a Catholic? Church of England. Church of England. Yeah, yeah. So where is the religion? Church of England. What did Jesus try to tell us to follow? Did he tell to follow a church? Or did he tell us to... No, no, no. Did he tell us to follow him? Tell us some nutters on a microphone. No, 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 no. You need to know. You need to be delivered. That's why everybody around here thinks you're a nutter. No problem. It does not bother what people think about me. I don't care 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 what people think about me. I'm not here to please people. Even Jesus, they rejected even Jesus. They rejected Jesus. But he still was. You know, he was accepted by his father. You may think I'm a nutter. You may be thinking I'm mad. Oh, you may be psycho. No problem. Does not matter. I have not come to please you. Because you need Jesus. Church of England or whatever. Catholic faith or whatever. Does not take you to heaven. It's only Jesus Christ. The relationship you share with Jesus takes you to heaven. And without Jesus Christ, you will be lost in this world. Without Jesus Christ, you will die in your sin. You need Jesus. Without Jesus Christ, you will die, my brother. Because religion does not take you to heaven. No matter which church you go to. That will never take you to heaven. That will not qualify you to heaven. Because it is the relationship between God and you. And that's why today is looking at you, my brother, my sister. And that's very much important. That without Jesus Christ, you will die in your sin. Without Jesus Christ, you will land up in hellfire. And God doesn't want you to go there. That's why he said, I am the way, the life and the truth. You need to know the truth. Because only the truth can set you free. Because the Bible says, for whoever the Son sets free, is free in it. And that's where Jesus Christ has given us freedom. Do not be enslaved in bondage. Do not be a slave to the devil. Do not be under the influence of drugs, under alcoholism, under sin. Don't become a slave to the devil. When Jesus Christ has given you freedom, Jesus has gone to come and set you free. Come, turn back. Repent because one day you will die in your sins. And when you die, you will land up in hellfire. That's what it is. You like it or you don't like it, that's up to you. If you miss heaven, there is no way you will miss hell. That's where. And there is no repentance in hell. There is no mercy in hell. The choice to make determines your future. The choice to make determines which place you are going for. That's why you must make the right choice by accepting Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. You said, oh, I don't need Jesus today. No matter. That's not for worry. One day when you will go to the grave, when you die and land up in hell, you will repent. There are many celebrities who mocked God. There were many celebrities who criticized God. But today, where are they? They all land up in hellfire. They're asking for a chance. Can you please give me a chance? Look at the rich man and Lazarus. The Bible speaks of them. Both of them died one day. And Lazarus was taken to the bosom of Abraham. But whereas the rich man pleaded and said, Can you please give me one chance that I may go and tell my brethren? He was burning up. The Bible says that his tongue was on fire. He was asking for water, my brother, my sister. That's why come today. 
do not land up in hell fire jesus loves you very much so no matter what is the religion what is the belief what is the tradition what is the culture because those will not take you to heaven those don't qualify to heaven by accepting jesus christ as lord and savior because he has promised us a place for everyone heaven is a beautiful place my brother my sister the bible says that the road are made of gold there are mansions there for you ready already prepared by jesus for everyone he did not say it's only for christians this for everyone those who accept jesus christ he has given them a place called heaven that's a heaven is a beautiful place the life which you and i we are living today is a temporary world my brother this world will pass away one day the earth will stop even the sun will stop shining one day everything says darkness will cover the face of the earth the bible says clearly and that's why we are in end of days look at the persecution taking place in pakistan look at the persecution taking in sudan look at the persecution taking in india look at the wars in ukraine they're killing one another look at the people killing one another my brother my sister because there is no more love but god is love that is a love one another as i have loved you and that is the greatest commandment given by our lord and our savior jesus christ because we love you we are concerned over your soul we are concerned over your life that without jesus christ you will die in your sin you will be lost in this world full of sin darkness and iniquity that's why before you die accept jesus christ is giving you an open invitation people are barking come today is calling you we are running out of time time is not on our side you yourself do not know how long you are going to live today may be a last night today you can die my brother and sister that's why today jesus is calling you he is opening his arms and he is asking whether you will accept him as the lord and savior come today my brother the bible says if one confess with the mouth and one believe in his heart you shall be saved the bible says unless one is a you know babu those who are baptized and believe they shall be saved for those who do not believe they shall be condemned to hell fire where they will be burning come my brother jesus loves you very much because we love you that's why we are preaching the gospel to everyone because we do want your soul to be lost we do not want your soul to be lost we do want you to be lost my brother come without jesus christ you are lost without jesus christ you are lost in this world come do not be deceived by the devil the devil is deceiving you by telling you don't need god but there is a god who loves you very much more than even your boyfriend more than even your girlfriend more than even your partner even than your husband and your wife because one day everyone will leave you and go away but jesus said i will never leave you nor will i forsake you because the love of god is unconditional he loves you very much as he loves me he is not a respecter of person he is not a god who shows speciality he is not a god who shows favoritism he is a god who looks into your heart the bible says man look at the outward appearance but i the god who looks into the heart give your heart to jesus he will change your life you give your heart to your boyfriend he will leave you one day and go away one day a girlfriend will leave you and go away she will rob you with all the money and run away with the money one day your partner will leave you and go away that's why there are many many divorces in this country why because the love has become cold my brother my sister but jesus christ said i will never leave you nor will i forsake you turn back and come back to god he loves you very much god bless you amen